Moving a point to a new 3D location is easy. We simply use move point in 3D. In this case, we choose the point that we want to move, that point there, we accept it, and we move it into a new location in that location there and accept. But to be really clear about what's going on, let's undo that command, edit undo, and let's turn on the points, the vertices, using the toggle and vertices on, and let's turn on the Z values in the same way. Now when we go move in 3D, we can see very clearly what's happening. I'm picking up that point there with this elevation of 62.61 and accepting it, moving it across here to this new location where the point has got an elevation of 62.924. When I click on the new point, the point on the blue string takes the elevation of the natural surface point. When I accept that, we have two points at the same location with the same height. So the point on the blue string has been adjusted in height as well as in easting and northing. Once again, edit undo to undo that command. If I want to put a point in at a known x, y, and z location, I simply use the move in 3D once again, pick the point that I want to move, and accept. And in this case, I'm looking at the coordinates, the eastings and northings at the bottom of the screen. I can see here that an, an easting of about 42,500 a northing of about 36,900 would be about right. I press the space bar, type in 42,500 space, 36,900 space, and I want my point to have an elevation of 62.00, 62.00, enter. It's gone in at that location with the height that I specified. 